We're back, live in LA. I'm just excited to be here. And the reason I'm so excited is because we're doing a TV slash radio, but this is something I'm so passionate about. And the reason is because I'm a huge Roberto Clemente fan. So locally in Pittsburgh, you guys have to be very, very excited. And what this director is doing is tremendous. We need to get behind it 110%. So I'm so glad you came oh, by, thank Richard. You. Thank you Richard God, Rossi. Uh, he's, again, the, the film is about to launch. You filmed it, Roberto Clemente movie. And I understand you have a guest with us as well. So tell a little bit, our audience, a little bit about your background what you're doing currently with the project and we'll get talking about it. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, well, like you, I love Roberto Clemente. My father took me to see him when I was uh, not, not a little boy, actually, pretty small. I had a little Roberto Clemente baseball glove. We'd sit in right field. So I've loved him since I was a kid. I was nine when uh, Roberto died. I cried my eyes out. I was so oh, upset. Wow. And um, I started writing stories about Roberto then. So I, I turned 50. Uh, about a week ago, so this is like 40, you know, plus years of this story in me, and um, I uh, shot it, uh, edited it um, with the help of a very talented uh, cast and crew, and it's we're you know we have a, a rough cut. We're starting to show the rough cut a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Pittsburgh yeah. in April, and we yeah. definitely gotta promote that for Pittsburgh April 6th. I yeah, know, is that my right on the date? Yeah, yes. April 6th. It's kind of a sneak preview. It's not a huge public premiere yet, but um, we're, if the public, anyone out there is listening, any of your listeners want to come and see or us, watching, or definitely or watching, watching it also, in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, just go to brownpapertickets.com. Brownpapertickets.com and search Clemente screening. It'll come up April 6th. And we're going to have a kind of a buffet dinner and um, show the first cut of the film. It's not finished, but it'll give you a very good idea of the film. And um, it's free. It's a donation-based uh, event to uh, raise some funds for the finishing and distribution of the film. And, you, you know, don't let that scare you. It's a voluntary thing, and we're collecting donations. So. Okay. So the actor that we brought, what part do you play in the Roberto Clemente film? Actually, I play a news person that's uh, kind of a prejudiced, um, slimy guy. <laughs> I played that in wrestling, so I, so I didn't understand it. I'm typecast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, but um, one of the things, like, I remember when I was a kid is, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Lower East Side, New York. And even though we're more Mets and Yankee fans, um, being Puerto Rican, and I, most people don't know it because they think I'm Italian or something else. Right. Uh, the Puerto Rican community, when he died, came together, and more of the poor people mm -hmm. yes. from New York and the Puerto Ricans right. actually did exactly. more yes. than the rich people did oh as, for yeah. you know for you know the the causes that Roberto was involved mm -hmm. in. So you know, and I knew Richard a long time, so uh, it was good to get back to work with him again. We worked together before, and. Uh, like I said, he typecasts me all the time. <laughs> I'm usually his pimp or the bad guy. <laughs> well, Richard, I hope I can be one of your films. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, I, oh, really, yeah. I really would enjoy that, especially well, if you're yeah, a wrestler. <laughs> we'll have to definitely make well, that I'm happen. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so we've got to get you. Yeah, well, maybe we've got to come up with a wrestling story yeah. about it, and I will have to talk about that. You know? yeah, Interesting. Okay. So now let's go right to the, to the film itself. Okay. Is it about Roberto Clemente's entire life? Um, we pick it up when he's a rookie, um, and Roberto, in choosing his number 21, he was superstitious like a lot of ball players. so his name actually had 21 letters, right, okay. uh, Roberto Walker Clemente, and he picked 21, and the film is, has like 21 chapters based around those 21 letters, so R is rookie, it starts, he's a okay. rookie, and they're hiding him, Okay. he was a minor. Because, so he, he, because he, he was considered a minority, they didn't want to promote him and make him the big star because they wanted the other players, yeah. Mazeroski, Dick Grote, people like that to be the yeah, stars. Yeah. They're like, no, no, we can't have him as the villain. Yeah, in fact, they were, Clemente was upset that in 1960 he finished eighth in the uh, MVP voting. And so he dealt with racism from this slimy reporter here and some of the other <laughs> slimy reporters. And they used to make fun of how he talked. Like if he said sister, they would he would have a little accent to it, like sister. They would spell it out S E E S. -T -E -R. So he went through he went through the yeah. same things as Jackie Robinson in a way. Very much but so. But those yeah. stories weren't really told about him. Why? Well, I think back then um, 
you know, Pittsburgh, and I'm from Pittsburgh, so I it's think I could say yeah. it was pretty racist. Uh, and I, yeah, think, yeah. I think we're improving. You are improving. We're yeah. not there yet. We're, that's for sure. We're I definitely think, not there yet. I think we're improving. I know when I used to play guitar in the Hill District and some of the neighborhoods, they used to tell me, man, you're the one of the only white guys I've even seen come in our neighborhood. <laughs> so Pittsburgh, in a, in a way, it's been like the South, you know? Right, yeah, exactly. Segregation. Yeah, we're, we're very backwards in circles.